Hello, so welcome back to the sixth tutorial in this Dreamweaver series. So in this episode we're going to carry on with the HTML and CSS for the featured slider and then the final part of this episode we will add in the jQuery to animate the slider backwards and forwards. So let's get on with it. So with Dreamweaver open, we need to now uh, sort out this section here. So we need to move all of these three elements over to the right hand side. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go into the code of the index page and we're going to say an ID of slider that has a UL, that has a list item that contains an image, give it margin right, and then that will then move this, the paragraph, and this image at the same time. So if we go to the CSS, so underneath here we're going to type in ID of slider that has an, an unordered list, that has a list item, that has an image, do the following. So we're going to say margin right and we're just going to say 40 pixels and then close that off and if we go to the design you can now see it's shifted everything over by 40 pixels so now all we have to do is now sort out the spacing uh, from in between the H ta H2 tag, the paragraph tag and the image so first of all we need to concentrate on this H2 so in the CSS I'm just going to copy this to save some time and paste it below and I'm going to change img for h2 so I'm just going to remove margin right so the first thing we need to do is actually change the text from lowercase to uppercase so it's text transform so that's uppercase then we also need to change the font size so I'm going to change font size if I can spell size to 26 pixels so we also need to change the color of the actual text so I'm going to type in color and the color of that was 4BD1FC so if we just save that and go back to the index as you can see now that's changed quite a lot it's now uppercase it's now blue and it's also a bigger font size so the final thing we have to do is kick this paragraph away from the h2 because it's obviously far too close so we're going to use margin bottom on the h2 which will kick it away so if we go to the main css just here we're going to say margin bottom of 20 pixels save that and if we look at that now you can see now we've got a nice amount of space there uh, for the for the heading tag to breathe so the next thing we need to do is style this which is the paragraph tag so again back in the CSS I'm just going to copy this and paste it below change the h2 for a p for the paragraph tag now obviously the paragraph we don't want to make that uppercase so we can remove that we can also remove the color and the font size here so the main thing we want to change here will be the margin bottom we're going to change that to 30 pixels so then that will kick the the uh, view article button away and we want to add in one more thing which is line height to space out the, the actual lines of the paragraph because they're far too close it just makes it easier to read if you add the spacing so we're going to say the line height is 25 pixels and now if we go to the index you can see we've now got some nice spacing in between the paragraph itself and the image has been kicked away at the same time so that's all the spacing sorted out uh, the next thing we need to do is actually uh, add in the jQuery to animate it backwards and forwards so what you need to do now is open up your web browser and you need to go to the following address now I'll leave a link to this in the description below uh, but this is the link here now when, once you come to this site this is the uh, sort of slider plugin uh, called J Carousel. Um, so you need to go to the download section over here on the right hand side and then there's different versions so we're going to grab the latest version which makes sense and we're going to grab the minified version which is the lighter version so you click on that and it gives you all of this code here so I'm just going to right click and copy and now we need to head over back into Dreamweaver so down here in our uh, files panel we need to right click on the JS folder and go to new file and then you need to remove all of that and type in the following so j lowercase capital c a r o u s e l capital l i t e dot j s so j carousel light and then i'm going to open that up and then i'm just going to paste in 
the code that we grabbed from the web page and save it. So I'm going to close that down because I don't need that now. I'm going to go back into the index page. I'm just going to go to the top of the page and where we added in the jQuery uh, JavaScript file, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste the one below it. Then I'm just going to grab the file name of the new JS file we just created. So I'm just going to copy the jcarousel lights and paste it in place. So yours should look like this with jcarousel light.js. Now make sure you have jQuery first because that's what get loaded first and then the, the jcarousel plugin underneath. So now you need to right click on the JS folder one more time and go to new file and delete everything that it gives you. So untitled.html and type in functions.js and then if you open that up this is the page that we're going to write the jQuery to make the actual uh, slider animate backwards and forwards. So before we start writing any of the code inside of the functions.js, we need to include this file on the index page. So I'm just going to copy the script that we added previously, paste one below, change this for functions. .js. Now, I just want to clarify something. This bit of text here, make sure that it's exactly the same as what you see here. So, it's a lowercase j, capital C, A R O U S E L. And there's no spaces in this, and it's a capital L I T E dot js, because uh, we're going to be referencing that later as well. So, with that being said, we need to go into the functions file. So I'm not going to go into too much depth about the jQuery uh, in this video because I'm going to be creating a web series about jQuery. So the first thing we want to do is put a dollar sign in with two brackets and inside of the brackets we're going to type in document and then we're going to type in dot ready and then we're going to put another bracket, type in the word function with two brackets, a curly brace hit return a couple of times, put another curly brace, another bracket, and close it off. So basically what this is saying here is saying when the document has been re is ready, so when the document has loaded, do something. So inside of here, we need to instruct jQuery to do something. So jQuery starts with a dollar sign, put two brackets, and inside of the brackets we're going to put two speech quotations, and inside of that we need to tell jQuery what we're targeting. So we're targeting the slider. So if we go into the index page and come down, you can see here we created and div with an ID of slider that holds the the image, so the Mac Pro image, the H2, the paragraph tag, and the view article button. So we want to target all of this section. So we, we're going to target the ID of slider. So in here, we're just going to put pound or hashtag, whatever you want to call it slider and then after that we're going to put dot j carousel light with a bracket another curly brace return a couple of times curly brace a bracket and close that off so we've got this portion set up so I'm going to save that and then in here we now need to target the the buttons so we're going to type in the following we're going to type b t n next for button next and then after that we're going to put two speech quotations in and inside of here we need to target the next button so if we go into the index and if we look here here's our next button and it's got an ID of next BTN so that's perfect for us to target and it's the same here for the the previous button it's got ID of prev BTN so we're going to target these two IDs so here in the functions we're going to say ID of next BTN like that and then we're going to say BTN prev for previous same thing we're going to type in the ID prev BTN put a comma in there and then we now need to tell jQuery how many of the actual sliders we want to be visible at one time. So we really want one to be visible. So I'm going to return one more line and I'm going to type in here visible one. So we just like I said, we just want the one to be visible. So I'm going to save that and back into the index page and design view. Now nothing changes. So we're going to preview this in a web page.
So as you can see here, we've got the, the web page and it's, it's all moved up slightly, but we can sort that in a second. Now, here's our next button. Now, if I click that, I've actually noticed it goes backwards, but you can see it does animate. So the jQuery is working. And if we click this one here, it, it doesn't go, it goes forward. So we need to address this issue. So I'm going to minimize the web page. So all we're going to do here, I'm not quite sure why it does this, but the way to fix this is where it says BTN next. I'm going to change that to prev and BTA, BTN prev here. I'm going to change to next. Save the file. If we open up the web page again. And now if we hit refresh and if I click this one, you'll notice it goes forward. And if I click this one, it goes backwards. So we're nearly finished now. All we have to do is actually move this down so it looks a bit nicer. So I'm going to minimize this and we can close down the functions file for now because we don't need that. So the way to address the issue with the slider all moving up, if we go into the code of the index, so as you can see here, we created an ID of slider and all we have to do is put some margin, so padding top, which then move it down. So if we go to the main CSS, we've got an ID of slider here. So we're just going to say padding top of about 30 pixels and save that if we open that up in the web page and if we hit refresh you can now see that that moves down and we've got the the buttons working correctly so what we'll do we'll create another slide in here so it's not just the same thing so if we go to the index page here all I'm going to do is copy all you have to do when you want to add in more sliders is just copy the li to the closing li so this is one article create some space and I'm just going to paste a copy of that in so just to prove the point I'm going to change that to Mac Pro refresh 2 and I'll make this paragraph a little bit shorter now obviously you'll put different ones in here so all you have to do is just change your main featured image here change the text and the title uh, and you're pretty much good to go so if I now preview this in the web page and hit refresh now if I go forward You'll notice it says Mac Pro Refresh 2. The article, the text is a bit shorter as well. So that's all working. You can go backwards and it cycles through. So one thing I think we should do as well is just to make sure that the jQuery slider, the positioning and everything is working in other browsers as well. So we've checked in uh, Chrome. So if I minimize that, I've got Internet Explorer open here. So if I just refresh the page, uh, if you're using IE9 and you initially load it, it says down here allowed block content. So just click that and then it, the slider will work correctly. So if I go forward, you can see it goes forward. We've got this, the second article and the back works as well. So I minimize that one and we've got Firefox as well. So I'm just going to refresh that and I can go forward and that works as well. We've got the other article. So we're looking pretty good. We've got all of that working. What I'll actually do, the code that we created in the functions file, I'll leave a link to it uh, in the description below. Just in case you, you come up against any problems, you can check the code that I used uh, just to make sure that you get it all working. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now. In the next video, we'll be creating the structure for the, the three boxes underneath. Um, so as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video.